Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a quick energy check-in. This is for all signs, whomever is going to resonate with this, claim it. If you don't resonate with it, don't force fit, okay? Here's little Delilah, she's asleep already. So she's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel, and we don't do a video without her. Guys, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. Okay, we see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence, so thank you for joining us. And if nobody's told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. And that's a fact. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground. As above, so below. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good. And I do mean the higher good of the collective for earth, wind, fire, and rain. All right. One more shuffle, guys. Here we go. Show me the energy. Here we go. Show me the energy. Show me the energy. Nice, King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Male or female, there's no gender. So whether I say king or queen, just apply the energy. I'll tell you what the energies are. You have fire energy on the board. Uh, this is somebody who's a visionary, a leader. They take charge. They're in control. They could be a little egotistical. They could be a little bold. They could be extremely intimidating, but they get things done. You also have Virgo energy, somebody who has done the work. They have spent time alone. Maybe they still are, you know, in solitude. They've ascended spiritually because they did soul searching, self-reflection, and they worked on themselves. So somebody that's done the work, some fire sign that's done the work here. Could have Virgo in the chart as well, but not necessarily. Now, at the foundation of this situation, we had some kind of conflict, struggle, and disputes. This could have been a Leo in particular, okay? Competition, fighting, bullying, stress, arguing, ajuda, 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 right? Here we go. Spit it out. Show me. Show me. Okay. Now, we got a four of pentacles. Somebody could have been holding back here, okay? Just holding back. Not sharing their money, not sharing anything that they had, not sharing their words, their thoughts, their feelings, their affections. Just nothing. Nothing. Okay, so now, <sighs> there could have been a third party situation going on. Or they could be some happiness, solace, and healing. You apply it. There's sick, thick energy on YouTube, so, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios. There is a queen of swords in here. Uh, air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody who's a quick thinker, very perceptive, possibly single, uh, independent, constructive, organized, and articulate. You also have a knight of pentacles. Um, Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Somebody coming in to make an offer. Somebody who's solid, stable, except for it's a very slow moving energy. So this could be an air sign that has Earth in their chart and they're just moving like molasses. I mean, any slower and they'd be going backwards. You have an emperor here, Aries energy. Somebody who's uh, the boss, okay? There's nothing better than the emperor. After that, it's source. The emperor runs the entire situation, okay? They're all four kings best attributes, and then some rolled up, right? I mean, yeah. Integrity, class, dignity, protective, dependable, stable, financially straight, everybody's taken care of. Everybody wants the emperor. Let me just tell you that. It's a rock star right here, okay? Now, somebody's tempering their emotions over here. Okay, they have Sagittarian energy for some kind of a spiritual person that's balanced, peaceful, and patient. They have an inner calm and perspective. They're tranquil, harmonious. Nobody can ruffle this one's feathers, right? Also, if we're talking about a relationship, there is a soulmate union on the table. Show me. Show me. Okay. Nine of one. Somebody is persevering through something. And it could be tempering their emotions, like not... Letting somebody know what's really going on inside of them, right? So this is resilient. Somebody's being very resilient. Show me. Please and thank you, spirit and ancestors. May I please and thank you have a card. Okay. Weighing their options, trying to balance themselves out and get on... Level ground, being resourceful and flexible and adaptable, right? Also, maybe trying to make a decision. This or that. 
It's where do I go? Which one do I choose? Some of you might like dolphins. I see dolphins. I also see some kind of a sailboat here. Okay, so you have, this is stressing somebody out. Somebody could have some mental issues with this Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, you know, Nine of Swords is maybe finding help. It's learning to cope. It's recovery. It's shame. It's guilt. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's getting help for whatever mental issues they have. You also have a Nine of Cups in reverse. This could be somebody that's, um, they, they're dissatisfied. They're disappointed. They lack fulfillment. Show me. What are we doing with this now? Now we got the Queen of Pentacles. So, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Earth Energy. Somebody that wants to be successful financially. Somebody that's going to be successful financially. Here, yeah, this might be what's stressing somebody out. Maybe, you know. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's grounded, nurturing, very sensible, practical, down to earth, financially stable. Also, with the Nine of Pentacles here, I mean, yeah, this, we're talking like very stable. This is somebody that's uh, rewarded for their efforts. It's luxury, achievement, material stability. So somebody's being rewarded for whatever efforts they put into a situation here. And it's going to turn them into the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you might wear some kind of red scarf on your head. Monarch butterflies. I'm seeing a falcon now. Show me. So, here we go. There is a, a decision that's going to have to be made about um, a very spiritual relationship here. Gemini energy. Okay? So, that's like a blessed union. You have a ten of pentacles. That's everything. That's everything. That's money, love. I mean, just stability, everything. There's a brown rabbit here. I'm also seeing a little wood chest. Somebody might have a little wood chest. There's a knight of wands. So, here's somebody coming in. The knight of wands is action oriented. Fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody that's, uh, you know, it's the hero. They go after what they want. It's not a long-term committed energy, but um, this at least this guy's not rushing. His horse is seems like it's not going to break stride. I'm hearing breaking stride. Somebody's going to get some kind of truth here uh, fast. Somebody's got some kind of focus and a goal. They're shooting for it. They want to be victorious here, and that's it. Nothing's going to stop them. I hear nothing's going to stop me now. So the chariot, cancer energy, some kind of uh, breakthrough, conquest, truth is going to come out here. And it's going to happen fast about somebody that's got some kind of focus on something. Here, you have a tower. The tower is coming. Some kind of surprise shock. Something you don't see. It's going to shake it up and shake it down. You're going to be like, what the hell was that? Scorpio energy, cancer energy. There's a judgment. That's going to be the tower. Somebody's making a judgment. This is going to inspire somebody. This is the match onto somebody's ass card. You've got two aces in the bottom row here. That's crazy. So inspiration, creativity, enthusiasm, passion, passion, passion. I'm hearing. Yeah. Oh, look, the bird just confirmed it. All right. So here you go. Somebody. Uh, there could have been competition. Somebody can stand in their ground here, defending themselves. They made it to uh, a certain spot that they want to be in, and they're not letting anybody in that spot. They're claiming territory. Somebody's claiming territory over here. All right. Here you go. Somebody's trying to be patient, waiting for their garden to grow. And here comes the Knight of Swords. Doo -doo -doo, here comes the hero. I need a hero. One more. Something's going to happen fast, fast, fast. Show me this. Uh, that's rapid forward movement. Rapid forward movement. Okay, here you go. Ooh, okay, so it could be a Capricorn coming towards you. Be careful of any toxicities. And yes, something's still going to happen fast. You have the Eight of Wands. You also have an Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of new beginning. Could be with a Leo. You've completed a cycle. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. There's going to be fairness and balance again with a Leo. Okay? Strength. Something's going to be illuminated here. Look at these cards. This could be somebody from your past. It's coming in to offer love. He's the King of Cups now. Maybe he grew up, uh, you know, he or she matured emotionally. Yeah. That's amazing. Let's do some kippers on this. Interesting, interesting, guys. Okay, there could be a community involved in this. could be any kind of community, all right? Anything on the internet, where you live, who you talk to, whatever. Uh, 39 or 12. 
39 to 12. Also, you have somebody's working really hard, some kind of repetitive menial factory type sweatshop labor, something that somebody doesn't want to do. They're not getting paid enough. They're on their feet all day. There could be uniforms involved, green, gray, or blue. Somebody's going to be coming into a great fortune. 26 or 8. You got 8, 9, 10, or 11. You also have 24 or 6. There's some kind of thief or like, a, you know, in some kind of community, there could be some kind of thief. So be careful where you live. Um, they work like there's more than one. I'm getting like a street gang hanging on the corner. Um, okay, here you go. Somebody could be going on a journey here, taking a trip, a day trip, a weekend trip, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, there's a great fortune, again, twice. So spirit is really reiterating that there's going to be some kind of money coming to some of you. I don't know how you're going to get it, all right? I don't, but I'm, you know, I'm telling you. This thief, there's a false person around you that's a thief, people. Okay, let's see what else we have. Lovers. Somebody wants to court somebody here, and somebody wants to make it, have somebody make a decision about a romantic relationship. They want to change in this relationship, okay? This is some kind of blessed union. So we've seen that. Somebody coming back around over here, right, with these. Okay, somebody's thinking about somebody. Free parking in somebody's head here, and uh, they're not paying any rent. Somebody could be an artist. Somebody could have brown luggage. Somebody could have a, um, one of those cars with a convertible. Somebody can be seeing pigeons. Somebody can wear a pocket watch. Show me. Show me. Again, the thief popped over. The thief popped over again, people. So please be mindful who's around you. Smiling faces, show me times. Pretend to be your friend. This is what I'm hearing right now. Okay, you have some kind of main female involved in this. There was a main female involved in this. All right, so everybody be aware of that. Anything else, Kipper? Somebody's going to get a message of concern. You have 14 or 2 or 2. Your binaural beat right now today is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 megahertz. 222 megahertz. Anything else, Kipper? Okay, you have. There could be a child. Involved in this, children, particularly a little girl, 18 or 9, lavender or pink, could be significant. And somebody's occupation again. So this has to do with somebody's uh, occupation, 34 or 6. Okay, let's see. Last but not least, this is the last one. Yes, a privileged lady. Somebody's going to go from rags to riches here. Seriously. All right? Somebody who's working like some kind of a sweat shot job here. I don't know what to say. Slave labor. Something, you know, it's repetitive. They don't want to, I mean, it's horrible. Uh, they're going to cut, look, the great fortune is right around that. And over here, somebody's occupation is going to be, listen, somebody's up all night. They could be working two jobs, burning the candle. I mean, trying to make, it's something that they're doing with their hands in two places here. And somebody's going to become a privileged lady. Yeah, they're going to become a privileged lady. It's coming right in under change. I'm hearing this is a journey of a lifetime. Okay, main female involved in this. I told you guys. Let's get a couple of hidden truths. And thank you for joining Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. I always forget to ask. Show me hidden truths. Now, you got, I wish I could share my good news with you. I feel you even though we are apart. Somebody is going to get some good news here, okay? Whatever it is. I don't know if it's hitting a lot. Of, I don't know what it is, okay? Could be about a relationship. That's You know, that could be a great fortune, too, if you're lonely, right? But they're going to want to keep it on the down low. Somebody's not going to want to let people know. Oh, I know, because they don't want the Malikas, right? They don't want anybody giving them the horns. The horns. I'm starting to understand our connection. Somebody is. What else do we have? Delilah. Delilah. Lovely little cowgirl hat, Delilah. Here you go. I know that I crossed the line with you, and I hope that you can forgive me one day. So somebody's feeling somebody that they feel like they crossed the line with. They want to tell them the good news. They still feel them energetically. There's an energetic cord attached, and uh, they want to be forgiven. I am not available. Somebody's not available. All right, guys. Thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.